Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Let's do a quick video to see how to use locations as a go-to mechanism. It's convenient to uh, go to some latitude and longitude location in a map. So uh, let's use this map right here. It's just a simple default map with uh, uh, that I created using a uh, Bing Street Map uh, Street Maps as a background uh, layer, and uh, to guide as a provide a guide as to uh, locations where you want to go. Here's a table that I've opened up that's uh, countries, a bunch of countries, and uh, let's uh, let's dock that down below. I control clicked on the layer tab to dock it down below, so we can have that uh, uh, this uh, table open at the same time as we uh, have the big map open. And uh, so, how do we go to a latitude location, longitude location? Like, for example, let's say we want to go to Armenia, which is uh, longitude 45, uh, latitude uh, 40. Well, that's easy to do. Uh, the first thing we do is we set up the map uh, uh, with approximately the uh, you know the zoom that we want, and uh, Let's create a location. We can create a location anyway. Just say, save current location, and what that does that generates for us a location uh, component that we can then use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click open this location component. Then I'm going to shift click on the tab to un to undock it. And now I can leave this uh, location component uh, wherever I want. And uh, if I change values here, uh, I can go to that location and it'll automatically take me to wherever I want to go on the map. So uh, I'm going to uh, reformat this slightly just to give me a little bit more room. Uh, and uh, I don't have to do this, but I, I think it's convenient to uh, just uh, put the numbers that I'm going to be using uh, here on the left margin, and now I can kind of resize this window, and I can leave this window open pretty much where I want. I can just put it wherever I want, and uh, to show you how this works, anything that I change here, for example, let's change the uh, s scale here from this kind of long number to let's change it to uh, scale of 43, uh, whatever it is, 430,000, and if I click now on the map and choose a location, it'll automatically go to that uh, zoom level. Uh, and so if we want to go to Armenia, that's uh, uh, longitude of 45, and I'll just click uh, enter 45 here, and a uh, what's the latitude? Latitude of uh, 40, approximately 40, so let's just put 40 there. And locations are updated immediately when you and when you enter them, when, when you change the values. So if I click location now, it'll go to Armenia. If I want to go someplace else, like the Netherlands Antilles, uh, let's say, let's go to Angola. Uh, 17 and minus 11. So that's a uh, value of 17 longitude and uh, latitude is minus 11. Oops. Just uh, one minus sign. And now I click on the map to move the context there. Click location. And there I'm in Angola. I can also, of course, if I want to change the uh, uh, the zoom level by changing it here, but I can just leave it there at 4300. So if I want to go to any other place, for example, the Netherlands Antilles at uh, minus 69 and uh, 12, approximately 12, or I could just enter the full number if I wanted to. Copy and paste it, but I'll just do this and do it that way. Anytime I go to that location, that takes me to the, uh, okay, what did I do wrong here? Netherlands, oops, it's not minus 12, it's, it's 12. So if you want to go to location, you do have to get the coordinates, right? Well, let's correct that. And now I can go to that location. and There, there are the Netherlands Antilles, uh, uh, which are a group of uh, islands off the coast of uh, Venezuela. So it's that easy to go to location. And uh, of course, once you have this location uh, set up, you can uh, close it. And if you want to save the map at any p at future, at, if at any future point uh, you want to uh, start using those locations again, that's easy to do. You just uh, Double click open the location. I like to undock them, so uh, just leave the location floating someplace wherever it's convenient. And let's pick another place. For example, uh, let's find the Barbados, minus 59. And uh, what's that? 13. 13. So let's go to that location, and that's easy enough to do. Now I think uh, sooner or later Manifold, of course, will enter, you know, provide some sort of go-to uh, window, either in View, Go-To, or maybe up here on the uh, main toolbar. Uh, but until it does, you can use locations to uh, go to any location that you want to on the fly. Uh, you, you know, if you're using a go-to box or if you're using a location box, you know, you do have to enter the location that you want to go to, latitude and longitude location. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of like the same overhead in terms of mouse clicks in terms of keyboarding uh, that you have to do uh, in, in either end. But uh, until Manifold does enter that uh, provide such a go-to box, you can use locations as we've just done. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. This works, of course, in Manifold System Release 9 and Manifold Viewer. Uh, if you're using SQL for ArcGIS Pro in advanced mode, it works for that as well. If you want to go to a particular spot that you're visualizing. So uh, enjoy. Tell your friends. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. 
Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.